Welcome back everybody to Imperion Galactic Survival. I'm Know-It-All DM. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing great hanging out in a creative mode. Today, we are going to be going over circuits. Now, first I'm going to start by explaining exactly what a circuit in Imperion is. In the control panel, you have under the signal logic, this configure circuit uh, area, and you can add circuits to it. And there's a lot of different types of circuits. In fact, there are, what, 13 different types of circuits? And so I've split them up into the ones that utilize one signal, two signals, or four signals. Now, uh, by utilize, a circuit specifically is a signal that activates based on one or more other signals. So, for example, the signal that is set off by this switch for the inverter will basically reverse whatever the inverter is. So, uh, the invert and delay are the two that are based on a single uh, single uh, uh, signal. So, when this is off, the inverted signal for it is on. When it is on, the inverted signal is off. With a delay, whenever I activate it, the delay will activate or deactivate a certain number of seconds listed by you under the delay. In this case, five seconds. So when I turn that on, it'll go one, two, three, four, five, and then the light will come on. I turn it off, it'll go one, two, three, four, five, and then the light will go off. So that way you can set a delay for something that'll occur whenever you go through a door or whatever. There's a lot of things that can activate signals. Uh, just recently they added uh, the landing gear. So if you wanted something that would go on a delay from when you land your ship, you could set the delay based on a signal based on one of the landing gear and It'll, the landing gear will ex will go out, and then that number of seconds later, whatever you want to happen, will happen. Uh, this is an easy way to set up an exploding ship that explodes when you get on the ground by setting up explosive blocks in your ship based on the landing gear. Um, <laughs> but uh, that, that would be something that you really don't want to do because, you know, the landing gear might go off when you're piloting it. So, in any case... The next easiest thing to explain, so those are the one by one circuits. You've got the inverter, which is basically just the reverse of whatever signal it is. And then the delay, which comes on and off a certain number of seconds after you've uh, done the switch. Now, the two, sw two sensor based circuits, we're gonna set with, start with the easy one, set, reset, latch. That is this one down here. And what that does, it's real simple. To set it, you use the first sing, uh, sig, switch, sensor, whatever. And no matter how many times that's flipped, that won't go off until the other one is activated. Now, if you activate it and then do the other one deactivate it, it'll stay on because it's continually going on, off on, off on. So it's staying on because of that. But if you switch the first one off, it'll go off as long as this is not on. So basically it's on and off. All right, so that's set reset latch. It's real easy to get a hold of. The next few are sort of linked as you can see by the little things on the wall. Whenever one is on, the other is off. This is how it always is for these. So for example, AND and NAND. NAND is basically not all of them. So as long as one is on, but not both, NAND will be on. If both are on, NAND is off. AND of course is all of them or both of them for the two. You can sort of think of NAND as an inverted and or is if one or the other is on and nor is if both of them are off nor is sort of 
an inverted or, but it's sort of also an inverted and, because, you know, not quite an inverted and. It's, it, it's an and for everything being off. Everything has to be off for nor to activate. If one or the other is on, it's not there. So, as you can see, the or and the nor are directly opposites. Um, so basically, nor is an inverted or. X or means that one is on and one is off. Simple as that. If both are on or both are off, nor does not activate or X or does not activate and X nor is basically an inverted X or because if one or both of them are on X nor doesn't activate. Now the X ones are only for two switches. So if X or is on, if you set it for X or one has to be on, the other has to be off and it doesn't matter which one this is. If both of them are on or both of them are off, X or will not come on, but X nor will. Have I lost you so far? No? Good. Okay. Four circuits. Now, this is where it gets a little bit more confusing, but not really. As with the and and the or with the two circuits, the NAND and the NOR are basically inverted AND and OR. So if I turn one on, any one, OR will come on and NOR will go off. So no matter which one I turn on, OR will come on and NOR will go off. So basically NOR again is an inverted OR. NAND means that if all of them are on, NAND goes off and AND comes on. This is basically to say four switches all have to be on to activate the 4X AND. That is, of course, the 4X AND and the 4X NAND is the inverted 4X AND. <sighs> okay. So if any one of them are off, the NAND will be on. Basically, that's it. Um, so now we get into, well, what if you wanted three? Okay, not two, not four, but three. The way that you would do this is you would use multiple circuits. You would want to do two, two X ands if you want all three to have to be on. So you would say one and two have to be on. And then if I were to say, go ahead and add, uh, where, where are they over here? Um, I've got the lights, I need the switches. Okay, if I were to add switch number three, okay? Let's put switch three here, and we're gonna call this switch zero three, okay? Now, if I want all of them to have to be on, Let's just go ahead and do this. And this will be a 3x and. All right. And we'll just go ahead and make this. What do you think? Uh, 36 will be fine. So we can see that. Okay. So that's going to be for 3x and with 1, 2, and 3. What you're going to want is you're going to want to create an and circuit that has the one and two which all of these are already over here so one and two one and two and three so one and two three okay and then we'll set this to one and two three like so and then let's just go ahead and color it green because of my coloring scheme to make it easier. So if one and two are on, that means this is lit up now. And then I want that to activate three. So if any of them go off, that'll go off. If all of them are on, it'll be on. Okay. 
And you can do that to for like if you wanted five circuits, you could do a 4x and one. Or if you wanted six circuits, you could do 4x and 2x. Uh, yeah, so that all of them, you know, all of them have to, anyway. So by combining these different circuits, uh, you can utilize the circuits in the signal logic to their fullest potential. Now, you'll notice that this creates a large list in your switches here. And if you wanted to reorder them, the way that this order goes, all right, is that at the top, at the very top, you have your signals that are set up in the main. Those go first in order of one, two, three, four, five, six. So if I went main one, main two, main three, okay, but not four, five, and six, then when you come into here, main one, two, and three are at the top. If you did four, five, and six, it'd be all six at the top. Then it goes based on the devices that you have placed in the order the devices were placed. Not the order that the devices were added signals, but the order that the devices were placed. So if I were to place, as you saw, this last one that I placed here, its signal, signal three, is sort of... And you see, this doesn't always work, but it's like up here, it's sort of like last to first, but not always. I think it's random. I honestly don't know. I, I've tried to figure out how those order themselves, and I don't know. But after the devices, it goes the configure circuit in order from top to bottom. So as you can see, it goes one and two, and then one and two, because that's how I have it here. If I flip that, and then come back into here, you'll notice it goes one and two, and then one and two. So you can order these by going up or down on the one you want to move up or down. I wish you could just click and drag it, but you can't. So that is basically a quick tutorial on circuits. If you did not understand any of this, or individual parts or whatever let me know in the comments down below where i lost you and i uh, i don't know I'll, I'll try to make it easier to you know to to uh digest but it's sort of for me i understand this it's sort of easy for me to understand you know um you know like anything with an n is the inverted as if using the inverter of anything without the N, like XOR and XNOR. The XNOR is the inverted of XOR, NOR is the inverted of OR, etc., etc., etc. So, in any case, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, smash that like button for me. And if you want to see more tutorials about anything in the game, let me know in the comments down below. If you want to see more Imperion Galactic Survival, don't forget, go ahead and subscribe. As always, I'm Know-It-All DM, and y'all have a good day now.